Hello, this is Town here, Townies Music. I'm just going to find where my studio app is in my collection of different video softwares. I'm going a bit further down. I, I need to go across here. And I'm going to show you how I use studio when I've found it. Got loads of different apps. So there you go. There's studio. Right, what I'm going to show you is how I do a video from scratch. So first of all, it's got a video created on there. What I need to do is go to my videos. I'm going to remove that video because I want to do that video again. Right, so I'm going to get that and remove that. So it's got no videos on then at all. Right, there's nothing on there. Right, so we'll go back to home now. Now what I'm going to do is create a video from scratch. Right. And I'm going to put from script. You can do it from audio as well. So if, you, if you've already got a script that you can read out and record, you can put that audio on this way and do it that way. If you've bought the audio function, which I have. Right. But I'm doing the script way. So I'm going to use landscape, but you can use square or vertical as well. So there you go. Right now you've got a, four different types of sets to use. I always use a simple set because, you know, that's the first one I've, I've used and I haven't tried using the others at all. So that's what I do. And now I'll put a script name on, which is I'm going to use the same topic as I used for content reel before. Um, I'm, I might make a video using that anyway, which is how to... Wait a minute to make home made scented candles right that's what I'm going to use for the title now, if you've got a ready-made script already, you can put that in there. And it tells you scene target time in seconds there. I want to put that up to 10 seconds just to make it last a bit longer. And because of transitional um, bits which will go in between, which could knock it down anyway. So you always make sure you've got a bit extra. Right. You can ignore paragraphs if you want to. Um, I would, just in case. And I'm going to use the AI writer there. And what I will do then is I'm going to put my text in there like that. Paste. That's the title. I'm pasting the title in. And you can change it to all sorts of different languages there like that. But I'm going to do English because that's the, the language I speak. Right. And I'm going to knock this down 200 because I don't want it to be too big. But usually it's quite big anyway so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just generate the text by clicking the generate button um, this might take a while so I'm going to pause this for a second while that's happening okay it's just done it it took about three minutes if that um, so let's just have a look at the script I can't see it it ain't showing near enough ah Okay, right, so what I'll do is I'll just use this script for now and we can have a look through it. There you go, it gives you a bit more there, information, so that's fine. What you need to do is just look. Introduction, making your own scented candles is fun and rewarding experience with just a few materials. You can create beautiful candles that will fill your home with a lovely fragrance. In this article, we will show you how to make five different types of DIY scented candles using easy to find ingredients, right? Materials need to get started making your own scented candles. You'll need the following supplies wax, paraffin or soy, fragrance oil, colorant optional, wicks, containers, step by step instructions for making 
scenting candles are as follows. 1. Choose your wax type paraffin or soy. Paraffin wax is the most common choice because it's affordable and easy to work with. Soy wax is more expensive but burns cleaner and longer than paraffin. Measure out the amount of wax needed for each recipe. You can use a digital scale to ensure accuracy. Melt the wax in a double boiler on a low heat until completely melted. Stir occasionally to prevent burning. 4. Add the desired fragrance oil to the melted wax. Start with one drop per ounce of wax and add more as necessary to achieve the desired scent strength. If you want to add a colour, to your candle mix in a small amount of colorant now pour the wax into your containers bring them about halfway full insert the wick into the center of each container make sure the wick is straight and securely fastened to the bottom of the container allow the candles to cool and harden before trimming the wicks to the desired length tips and tricks for successful diy candle making here are some tips to help you make successful DIY scented candles. Use high quality fragrance oils to avoid any negative reactions from cheap imitations. Experiment with different fragrances to find ones that complement each other well. Keep track of which fragrances sell best at craft shows or online stores to determine what customers prefer. Conclusion. Making your own scented candles is not only satisfying but also allows you to customize your arm decor with unique fragrances. Try these five easy recipes today and start creating your own signature candle line. Well, I didn't see five, five recipes, did you? It was just a set of instructions, so that's not right. We'll try this recipe. I'm going to change that to this recipe after. So what I'll do is I'll submit the script first, like that. Right, I'm going to submit that script and then I'm going to change it when I get onto the next bit after it's um, created the videos. I will change it. So it is now going to load the script on and um, we can change it after in a minute. Right, sometimes this takes a while, uh, a few minutes. Oh. I can pause this a second. Oop. Right, it's uh, now created uh, the images of um, different video sl slides on there. Um, there's quite a lot really. If you have a look, there's 13, 16, 19, 21, 24, 29, and five that's 34 slides yeah it says up there 34 look. but that's just showing you there right the thing is with that i've got to check the script again so i'm going to go back on the script right because i know there was something wrong like the introduction you don't need that right so i'm going to remove that one for starters right so now we've got Um, making your own certificates from the origin species, blah blah blah. In this article, in this video, turn it to video. We will show you how to make. I'm not going to say five different types of. It come up with five different types of DIY on there, but when it come down to it, he didn't do any. Um, any recipes except for the single recipe. So what we need to do is that needs to come off there materials needed to get started making your own candles out cut that 
do that there. We don't need that. That needs to come off there, sorry. Right. I've done that wrong. Paste that on there. I'm just going to take the end off and make it a small end. And do the same with the T. There. Materials need to get started making our tinted candles. Alright, so that's for the next one. So click off slide three. I have to keep that twice. Right, so we've got two slides on the first one. Two slides on the second one should be as well. Yeah. Oh, it's up. Hang on. Two slides on the second one. Third one's got how many slides there? Look. Right, so. With these, you could put all these on that line. Really, you don't need all this lot. lot of. But we'll see. Um, right, so that should be a separate slide there for these ones. And them should be all one set there. So what we're going to do is when we get to the next part, we'll split that up and make that a different different um, scene. At the moment, I'm not going to worry about that too much. Right. But, right. I'm just looking for the things that are not right at the moment. Okay, we'll do is just put start your own candle line because obviously that bit's not right at all. There, so I'll just do that. Okay, so that's it. That's what we've got to. So according to that, there's 11 scenes, but there's each one of them is split into three parts or two parts or so on, you know. And that's still not going to work, right? Well, you'll find out why in a bit. I'm just going to show you. Right, so, so I've just trim that up a bit and sorted it out so now we're going to save that and go to the next we shall come back up with the video slides again right obviously I've, I've altered it a bit so right so that's where it's come to so we've got we got um we're going to look through it a minute i want to check where that part is there with seven Right, so we need the following supplies. Let's go down on this because it should should show the difference. There, right. So from there, we need to get all these on the next bit. Right, so with this one, what I need to do is just change the media. So go on media, which is there already, and I want to just do. I'll just put them tea light candles on. Right, so just replace for this slide at the moment. Right. There it is. Right now, the other two, I need to put them with it. So what I'm going to do now is I've got to go back to scripts again. Save that first. Right. Go back onto scripts. Now it's done that. Right, so we go. There we go. Now we need to add those two to scene. That's it, so we do add, add. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take those two slides off the next one. Go 
cut that there, add it to that slide there, paste. Get this one, cut that one off, and add to that one there, paste. Then this one, I'm just going to delete scene 5 there, which has got nothing on it. That's a double click, you have to do it twice sometimes. Right, so that's that should be okay. And then it's going on to the next slide for the next bit. So it is actually better than blah blah blah. Okay, and then I think that's okay. We can carry on with that now and see what you think. Right, so then we go back to save and go to next. There is some pressing about on this one, I'm afraid. Um, you'll find that there might be problems if you haven't got few enough scenes. If you've got too many scenes, it won't work. And at the moment, I've got, I think I've got too many scenes on here because at the moment I've got 32 scenes. And sometimes it doesn't work with that many scenes. So we'll see how it goes. Um, so we've got that. That one's our chaos balls. It doesn't do. Um, what I need to do is I want to put and leave that one on 40 top center if I can with that I'm going to change the style of the scene transition first of all I want that to be wipe left the first scene is going to wipe left and I'm going to change the text background to green dark green maybe or light greenish because of the color is dark I'll put it a light green and I can change the font. I'm going to try Bookman. And I'll change the colour to blue of the text. Right? Now, with the text background, the opacity, I want to change to about 50. So I can put it anywhere and you can still see what's behind it. Okay? You can change the text colour opacity, but I don't usually do that because... If I wanted to do that, I'd just change the text colour opacity without changing the background opacity because it looks funny when you're about together. So, all right, but that's what I'm doing, right? So I'll just apply that. Oh, that doesn't look very good, does it? I'll try a light, lighter blue. I need to do a lighter blue. A light blue. Let's try that. That's better. That looks nice to me anyway might be too too what's it i might do a little bit lighter i'll try that one. yeah that's better and now i can change the position because obviously you can't see experience there because of the light uh, fire on the candles you know so that looks pretty good i like that so we can do that and then up here you're allowed to click on that and it'll chat you can change what you want on there but if you do that you can get a problem after you can change it to italics if you wish or not or underline it if you want you can also remove the text if you want to uh, you can change the font size there you go but what I found is if you if you keep the same one on like 20 or something like that all the way through most of the body half way through the 20 will disappear and you have to use 18 or something if you've got lots of scenes on so be aware of that and obviously this is where you can change where the text is going to be top left top center top right middle left middle center middle right bottom left bottom center bottom right right then you can also add a text animation at the moment we're going to use fade for that one and when we go on to the next one we'll do a different different fades and things like that right you can also change them on the next one with this one i want to make it a smaller font let's say about 20 and then i want to change the position of that so i'll give, put it at the bottom left at the moment there you go like that and then that should be fade up so i'm using the next what's it i'm still using the same wipe for that right because it'll then ones will change you see but once you've done all that and you're happy with what you got which 
which then you can do like save it i might just do something here like hopefully this will be all right but we'll see i need to delete that and add that and i'll try that right now you'll see what happens when i do this if it, it might uh change it back it hasn't so thankfully i'm all right but sometimes when you do that and using that thing there it will sometimes revert back to what it was before right but that looks good to me like that so that's the way i want it but we'll see how, what happens later okay right so we're going to the next one and continue with the next set right, that's pretty good it's got candles on it there so we're fine with that one um if you haven't if you've got a problem with one and you want to change it which i will do up here i'll show you that one in a minute uh then you can change it so the next one i'm going to put them as 20 as well and i want to do it top left top right the top right and then change the colors change the, uh, the scene transition to wipe down change that to yellow maybe that might be better yeah and then that's on 50 already that's already that color that's fine do that that looks pretty good as well i like that right and then you can just save it by applying it down here and then you go on to this bit right if you want to do anything let's just change the what's it to fade down right so that's the first one i've put fade down on and then we get to the second one and that one needs a different position so we'll go to middle left and we're going to change that to 20 as well and then we're going to change the zoom out for that one all right so that's pretty good and that's how you go on with the rest of them now what i'm going to do is I'm just going to save that a second right once i save that now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go out to these two because these two have got the same thingy on which you don't want anyway you want different ones for each different section if possible so i'm going to go on to the second one because obviously that one needs to be changed um, i'm not going to worry about all the other stuff what i'm going to do is i'm just going to show you how to change the media right there's lots of different choices there that you can use instead right so i'm gonna have a look at one down here further down somewhere i like that one there i don't think that one's already been done so i'll just reply for all three slides you can reply some for a single slide right but if you do that you'll get the other two after it you know the other two slides after it or something like that so then you'd have to put either put them in the same area or something like that like i did earlier with that other one that i changed earlier right so just make sure they're all different slides because i don't want them all to be the same because that looks a bit naff if you do it like that Right, let's see what that one is. I want to check this slide here. Yeah, it's got candles on it, but not the right type of candles. So I'm going to do that candle there. For that one, the candles there. Like that. That's got a, a tea candle, which is can be scented, so that's fine. That's this one. You've got to keep checking. It's got tea light candles there, so that's fine. I'm just checking everything. So, once I've done that, once you checked all the ones that you think might be wrong, like this one, for example, and put something different on, there's one there. Look, that's a pretty good candle there. Place for the slides in the scene. And all the rest should be okay, I think. Except for that one there. Maybe that one. Let's just check that one there. Oh, yeah, that's the one I've checked before, isn't it? That one's okay. 
Let's go to the next one. That one. Let's check that one. See what's that one doing. Different fragrances. Oh, it's fragrances. So you could look for fragrances up here. So what you can do is you search for media and click on fragrances. Fragrances. You do that. There's no media. There you go. So what you do, you click on the suggestions. Perfume. Let's have a look, see if there's anything in there. Let's have a look what that says there, look. No, I don't want that one. Yeah, what's that say? What's that showing there? No, that's just makeup. Oh, it could be fragrances at the bottom there. But I don't like any of them at all, to be honest. So I just want... We'll go for that one instead. We'll just put that on. Right. Place that in there. Because I haven't seen that one in before. So, it'll be fine. I think. Yeah. And then the last one. Let's have a look at that one. That one's got a yeah, good candle on it there. Right, so that's fine. Okay. Right. So, now, say you've done all the styles and that and I've done the first two obviously but then you want you you've also added your different um styles like there and you've changed the scene transition for each one and you've done all this through that which will take quite a bit of while on here once you've done that you save it all as you can see that moved around and some of them will like that one down there's probably moved around Let's just check it. Where is it? Ten coming on that one now. That one's the same as that one. That can't be the same as that one. That's going funny there. That shouldn't be that one, should it? DOI candles. That's the same as that one, isn't it? No, it is different. Dif same woman, different place, different part. That's okay, that's fine. But as you can see, that's gone like that again. And I'd made that singular, I think. Was it that one or was it the other one? Uh, I can't remember now. Oh, it was that one, boy. That's come straight. That's fine. That's all right. Yeah. So once you've done that and you've got them all right, then you go to next step and you add your voiceover. Right. This takes quite a long time to do that, actually. But um, if you want an auto voice over, yeah, you select a voice. Um, I either use Ryan or Aria, it's quite nice. Um, or Guy or Sonia, it's quite good. I'll just show you Sonia, won't it? Hello, I am one of the text-to-speech voices that you can select to narrate your video. She's pretty good. And Ryan, let's just show you. Hello, I am one of the text-to-speech voices that you can select to narrate your videos. When good. I speak, this is how I sound. Is Aria. Hello, I am one of the text-to-speech voices that you can select to narrate your... That's quite, quite nice. I like, I like that. And Jenny. Hello, I am one of the text-to-speech voices that you can select to narrate your videos. Right. When I speak, this is how I sound. Oh, guy. For example, let's try Guy. There. Hello, yeah. I am one of the text-to-speech voices that you can select to narrate your videos. But when I speak, this, this is how I sound. But because this is um, uh, a um, scented candles one, I'll put... Hello, on, so I am one of the text-to-speech voices that you can select to narrate like your videos. And then when I read you your script, is, this is how I sound. When, when you've done that, and checked which one you want, which I'm going to use on you. Then you create your voiceover. And what it'll do is it'll give you the different parts of the script and, and give you a chance to check it out and see if you need to change it or anything or take it out. Right? Just give you time to do that. Oh, 
right, I'm just going to pause um, the video a second while oh, it's done it. <laughs> just as i was about to do it now you can play different parts you can mute it you can record it you can remove record and let's just play the making your part. own scented candles is a fun and rewarding experience oh i like that that sounds good and you can check check anyone you want not say. you'll need the following supplies right so you know wicks containers Okay, so you go all the way down and you can check it all the way through. Um, sometimes, if you've messed around with the um, with the script like I have, it'll come up saying something on it, which is like basically um, there's a like a, there's there can be a little message saying um, this script is dirty or something like that. What you need to do then is go back to scripts and save it. And then come back in, and if it still comes up, just ignore, ignore, uh, ignore dirty or whatever it is, the thing that comes up. Um, I had that a few times, and um, all I did was ignore it, and it it worked out all right, you know. So that's what I did. And then okay, save and go to next. So we get to the next part. It'll load the video on. Prepare the audio for you. Um, obviously you've not got any music on as yet, but you've got the video um, and you've got the uh, voiceover. So what you need now is to sort out your volume, which I always put the voiceover volume to about 95. If I can, 96 will do. And I'll put it down to about 15 on the music about 15 on the music somewhere around there you can actually do this and just go like that it's easier um i don't usually put a fade duration on it you can but the room the, the result of music fade you will be able to hear on your final video so it'll only happen on the final video but if you want to do it you do two or do two seconds i wouldn't do more than two seconds or something like that like that all right you can do that and then you can enable transition effect between scenes for preview if you want to i don't usually do that but you can we'll try that right and it'll allow video data and start again so we we'll just wait a minute it can be a bit of a pain in the butt with some of this stuff but we've done it so we'll just check how that looks obviously the first two slides will be okay but the next few slides won't be right because i haven't actually edited them all properly but if i add edited them all properly you can making your own scented candles is a fun and rewarding experience with just a few materials, you can create beautiful candles that will fill your home with a lovely fragrance. In this video, we'll show you how to make DIY scented candles using easy to find ingredients. Materials needed to get started making your own scented candles. You'll need the following supplies. Fragrance oil. Wicks. You can see how containers. That goes. Obviously, I haven't put any uh, transition effects. Step by on step the instructions for making. This. I haven't put any um, any other transition on the rest of these, so you ain't going to see nothing on them. But the first two parts, you saw that that worked all right, didn't it? Right. So what you do is when you finish that, right. So you're happy with that, say. And then you do finished then you click on use fade transitions between scenes uh, because i've tried it before and i know what's going to happen when i do this i'm going to do house video because you have to do that first for long videos which this will be because it's over 30 uh, slides on it according to what it said so 
I'm going to do that first and then I'll render the video like this. I might have to pause this in a minute because it might go wrong otherwise. I'll just check. I'll just pause this while it's rendering and when it's finished rendering I'll, I'll come back to you. Hello. Um, I've just uh, had to restart Studio because it's stuck on 100% um, processing the video and that is because there's too many slides on the video um, this is um, this happens quite regular um, it didn't host the video either it's still there look but what we can do I'll show you what you need to do in order to fix this issue right so we get to my videos click on the video there you go down to clone clone the video click OK and it'll clone it give it a second it should if I just do that and hopefully it should come up not greyed out if it comes greyed out you'll have to delete and try again usually uh, I have to do this on occasion and it does happen sometimes where it won't uncloud out because as you can see it's darkened there where that one's normal color that's darkened in so therefore with that you can't actually do anything with it usually so look as you can see none of the what seats are there so let's just remove it and try again all right you get this all I'll get this all the while lately like, like it's been playing up a bit so they're supposed to be doing a, an upgrade soon I'll be um, this to try and sort this, these kind of problems out but when I don't know now let's try clowning again okay clown the video right and then just do quick rather like that hopefully it'll come right if it doesn't come right then i'll just pause it and wait to look and get it to work so it's not actually doing what it's supposed to do it might be something to do with me having this recording at the same time so i'll just try restarting it like that again refreshing it i mean not restarting it there you go it's come up now look you can see now it's come clear like that so you know it's going to be all right to edit so we're going to edit the shared one all right so we edit that all right now how many is it the 32 scenes right now what i want to do is get to around seven scenes per video so you work that out that's going to be about um four four separate pieces probably maybe more because 28 so it'd be five separate pieces in total with the last one being maybe just a few like four right so what you need to do then is because we've sorted it out the video you'd have to cut it into smaller pieces right so i'd get to scripts then and what i'd do is i'd just do the first one It'd be two, four, six, eight. I'll do them. Scene one, scene two, and scene three. And hope that hopefully that'll work. So with that one, I'm going to delete scene four onwards. Every scene four that comes up. Right, delete all those. And so therefore, we've got all them. Right. Now, because we've got all them like that, what I want to do is I want to make sure they're all right. You know, so you can tweak them a bit and do whatever you want to change them while it's on the... Oh, I forgot to do something. I mean, go back onto script. Sorry, I forgot something. I forgot to change that. Oh, so you can change that. Start off with the first one, say, part one. Just to keep our minds set up of what we're doing. okay so how to make scented candles part one right so we're doing the first part so we've got the two there two there and four there right 
So what we'll do is we'll just go on to the next part of this, which is where the video slides are being created. We should just show the first three slides, really. Then we can sort it out. So we've done the first two anyway. Let's just do the third one because I want to change the colours of that, of that one. Right, so we might as well do that while we're here. So with this one, we can do something like a pink background, nice and light pink. And what was it, Bookman, wasn't it? Right, so we're using Bookman. And what we need to do is um, make sure the pace is on 50, like we usually do. Uh -huh. Right. And that was on extra bold, wasn't it? Yeah. And then we want the colour of this to be... Let's do a dark green or something for that. Let's do a dark green on that one. Let's try that. Let's have a look, see how that looks. Oh, no, it's a bit nasty. Let's try a different colour of the... What's it? Let's do a light blue. Light blue like that. I'll try that. And then we can put that, it's extra bold anyway, isn't it? We can put it out at the bottom. We'll put it at the bottom for that one. You'll need the following supplies, yeah. Right. And then that'll do. And we can, we ain't put the scene transition on, which we need to do one. Let's do rectangle crop. Let's just add that. And go on that one. That one's there. Right, let's just, just do... We don't want to do any of them. We've got that. We just want that. I change that to zoom in. Right, so that'll zoom in from the back. Got that. And then we get to the next one. And we're going to change the place of that. Do that top left. Okay, fragrant soil. Maybe make that smaller to 20. And uh, next one, bottom right, change that to 20. And next one, containers, bottom middle, change that to 20. Okay. Save that. So, and then we get to the next step. She done that. We get to the voiceover. We've got to redo the voiceover, obviously, because we got a lot less slides than we had before. So we go select the Sonia voice again. Create voiceover. Let's just play Making your own bit. scented candles is a fun and rewarding experience. Yeah, look, that sounds pretty good. So we just do that, save, and go to next. Um, what we need to do is go back on the volume, make sure the volume's right. The volume's right. What I forgot to do last time was select the music. You know, for selecting the music, you need to uh, think about what you're doing. So you want some light ambient. Something light ambient, right? So you do that, you put that in, it give you different uh, tunes that might be light and ambient. Light rain ambient, sparks of light. That sounds pretty good. I'll do that one, sparks of light, yeah? And what we're going to do is make sure it's on 15 and 96, right? So let's just play that just to check out how it sounds. Making your own scented candles is a fun and rewarding experience. With just a few materials, you can create beautiful candles that will fill your home with a lovely fragrance. In this video, we'll show you how to make DIY scented candles using easy to find. Yeah, that's okay, that's fine, right? But I forgot to put the enable transitions on there, so that's why you didn't see the transitions in there, right? So don't worry about that. Let's just put finished. Now, when you've done that, you use click on the use fan phase between scenes and then house video. 
like I did with try before, but this time because there's a lot less it might work. Right? So we'll see in a minute. What I'll do is I'll pause this for a moment while we while it's working so because it might inhibit it if I leave this running. Okay, that took a little bit of time, not not too bad, not as long as it took last time because the last time it went, uh, it kept going round and it, it wouldn't finish. So this time it's finished. So we return to Studio, and it should show that it's on hosting, right? So if you want to host it with Studio, then you can embed it. You got the embedding there and other stuff like that, but I don't want to. Uh, run it from here. I want to do more actions and download, which will download to my machine. And I need to put the transitions on, so I do that. I always put it on housing first to make sure it'll work. Because if I don't do it on housing, sometimes it won't work. So I'm going to do that. Just let me do that. Right. While he's still re re rendering this, I'm going to. Uh, pause the video for a more one more moment okay so that's finished and this is how it's come up the moment we'll see have a look at it that doesn't look right uh, it isn't right i don't know what's happened but we'll uh, we'll go back to it and have a look see what's gone on It should have recorded and saved to OK, but we'll have a look in a minute. Right. Yeah, it's come up there, and you can see it on there, look. Making your own scented candles is a fun and rewarding experience. With just a few materials, you can create beautiful candles that will fill your home with a lovely fragrance. In this video, we'll show you how to make DIY scented candles using easy-to-find ingredients. Materials needed to get started making your own scented candles. You'll need the following supplies. Fragrance oil. Wicks. Containers. That's it, that's what happens, right? So, now, I'm going to go off... Um, this for a moment and I'm gonna have a look in my downloads files okay I found the file it's at the bottom here but if I do that making your own up. scented candles is as a fun you can and see rewarding you experience. can't see it on here but if I did stop that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my Varve afterwards to um, to work with it so what I need to do is I need to get the actual file um, name so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to home on there. Right, so we've got that. And what I want to do is I'm going to go to my videos. And click on that. Just copy that. Right, so now when I go to this, I'm just going to change that to that. Paste. And then, so we we got part one, and I'm going to put that where I put most of my files, which is on desktops. I've done something wrong there. Um, YouTube. I put it on my YouTube files. Oop, hang on. YouTube videos and preparation for YouTube, where I put my preparation files. I put it in there. Right, so what I need to do is get another one of them off. Saying downloads. Go down to the downloads, which is... There. Oops, I've done it again. Screw that up. There it is. Right, so I'm going to just remove that from there and put it there. Right, that will work on Mavavi. When I put it on Mavavi Video Editor, it will come up with the actual picture and everything. I don't know why it doesn't do it on there, but... It will be okay once it's on Mavave. Right? So I'll we'll just click off that. Click off that. Then we do the same again. But we do we do it off the off the original. We do another copy. So we have to clone 
again to do the next part. So we've done eight on the first one. So edit, uh, now clown, we want this one clown, right? We'll clown that, yes please. Right, so there's the clown. We need to make sure that goes right. Hopefully it'll go right in a moment. If it doesn't, I'll have to just delete it and try again. But we'll see in a minute. Okay, so we've now just clowned the second part, which we're going to do, and we're going to do editing that one. So usually I would have gone all the way through the lot first, but because I was doing this, I ain't uh, doing it right. So we're going to just see how we go from here. Right, so. Obviously, I've got to go back onto scripts, first of all. I want to get rid of scene one, scene two, and scene three, because some of the ones that I've just done. Right, so we do, we'll start with scene three. Right, so that just click, click that off. And we get to scene two, click that off. And we get to scene one, click that off. Now, this should be the next part, so we go, Got three scenes on there, three on there, and three on there. That's nine. So if we get to just to the scene three, right? So if we do from one to three there, so we're gonna from scene four, we're gonna delete them all, right? Right, so let's delete that one. And there we go. That's all we got with the stem scenes now. Right, we need to change this to How to Make Sandy Candles Part 2. Oh, sorry, that should be PT, PT. Part 2. Right, that's just for your own benefit, right, basically. So that you know where you're going with it right so all that should be okay all you need to do is get save and go to next right when we're on here we'll just have a look at it we can edit it if you if you like might as well being as we're on the long haul on this one i'm afraid right so you got three on each one which is reasonable not too bad and um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to start with changing styles um to slide left right, for the scene transition and change the text background to red so deep red like that somewhere around there and we'll change the we'll put the thing is the same bookman as we had before but we're going to change the color of the what's it, to white i think we'll change it to white like that. You have to use that rather than anything else. You can, you can use something else with it, but you have to be further down on the on the page. If I show, I'll, show, I'll try and show you. We do that. I'll see. You you can use the RGB there, and use the numbers if you want to, but I'd rather do. I'd rather do it this way because using this is better. You can see the colours better, right? I'm going to do the opacity back to 5, as I did with before. And I'm going to make sure it's bold as well. Extra bold. Like I did before. Right? That's that. And now, for the first one, well, for all of them, I'm going to try and do them all the same size if I can. I don't want 20. Right, so that's all right in the middle there. Actually, it looks pretty good. So I'm going to leave that there. Right? Next one. I'm going to put top center and 20 and the next one I'm going to put bottom center and 20 yeah a lot of, that looks pretty good a lot of, right so that's the first first slide there on the second slide and the third slide we've got separate slides on each slide so and what i'm going to do with this one is i'm going to go for slide 
on that one. Oh, I'll go to the first one first, sorry. I'm going to slide for that one. Next one, I'm going to take it further across to scale up. And the next one, I'm going to scale down. Right. And save that. Right, now I've saved them. Go to the next one. Right, so with this one, I'm going to change the colour of the background to a dark green. Like that. And I still have the normal text colour white. I think, yeah. I think that's white. I'm going to change the slide to down on there. Like that. And... That's all I'm going to do with that. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to just change the size to 20 again. Change the position to top right. Like that. And I'm going to scale X that one. Right. Next one. I can do mask. And the next one. Oh, hang on. I've got to change the. What's it do that as well? size of that 20 and I'm going to do middle right and the bottom one I'm going to do bottom right and 20 as well and what I'm going to do is the top one what was I doing now I'm oh, scale X middle one was mask and the bottom one I wanted to fade again like that oops I've done that on the wrong one Mask and then the bottom one fade. Okay, now save them. Or if I don't save them, they'll go funny. And then the third one, we're going to go for a different colour on here. We tried purple, if we can get purple. There you go. That's the colour I want, purple colour. And that's on five. Same with them. It's still Bookman, that's good. I need to change the slide to slide right. I'll do that. Yeah. Right, now I want to do this one. 20 again. Top left. Yeah, top left. And I'm going to do fade up. Next one. 20. Middle left. Um fade down and this one I'm going to do 20 bottom left zoom ok that sounds pretty good to me right so we can do that and then save ok there's 9 scenes on this one which usually I don't like to go more than 10 anyway so we're all right with it within the uh, realm of what i think will work so we've got the voiceover we need to redo right so we're going to get to the sonia again that was the one we used isn't it so what i need to do is create voiceover with that right now we've done that I'm just going to check the step by step one. instructions for making scented candles. Yep, okay. Save and go to next. I'm happy with them. As you can see, there's no bad signs on there saying, no, no, there's a problem. So that's fine. We'll do that. Right, so it's loading the next part up like I did before. Okay, uh, because of um, me recording. Using Mavave, I think Studio stalled, so I had to restart it and get back onto the video which I'd just done. This would be the next step it goes to, where it shows you the music. You've still got the volume like that, but the music I've got to find the music again, which I had, which is a problem. So really, what you need to do is either remember what you put in, which was light ambience. Is what I put on, and it found it from there. But if you can try and remember the actual name of the tune that you used, both of like that was the one, right? 
so I've got it now I'm all right but if you can remember the sparks of light then or whatever the uh, the music you use you know that would be a good idea step by step instructions for making scented candles I would not put the in one that. choose your wax type paraffin or soil okay. that sounds pretty good anyway let's get to finished then we do the same again use five transitions between seed host it always host it to make sure it works and if it doesn't work on that then you're gonna be screwed basically so it should work on this but like last time it might it might stall on 100% if it's got 100% complete and it's stalling at the end of that give it about 15 to 20 minutes and if it's still on that then close the app and go back to it afterwards and just um, go on to the next step which is try and um, download it to your PC and if it does that then you're going to be all right with um, putting it on the Mavavi video uh, editor or whatever video editor you got and being able to use it there which i'll show you that in a bit uh, obviously this video is going to take a long time it's over an hour um now so uh, i wasn't expecting it to take this long but unfortunately with the way it's going with me doing the video um recording while i'm doing the app it's making it take longer but it's, it still just sometimes take a long while because um if it does over 30 video slides it's hard to do it won't do it that way if you do 10 slides it might do it in one go sometimes you might have to cut that in half you know it all depends on um how many parts you got in each slide you know if, if you can get the parts to be less than 10 altogether that way it will do that in one go no problem but if you've got loads of parts in a slide you got to count them as slides separately if you can so that way you'll know whether it's going to work or not right and if you do that you have this problem you have to do what i'm doing which is cutting them up into smaller pieces right usually i'll, I'll split them into one slide per scene you know so whatever the scene is that's one slide on its own right rather than having two slides on the same scene so i did do that on one of my what's it really made it makes it a little bit easier but you still have to be aware of how many slides are on each scene because if it's under if it's above 10 sometimes it won't work you know what i mean so it is a problem that's happening at the moment with this but as i said they are going to upgrade it and they ought to as well really because it, it definitely needs upgrading with that problem all right so this is working pretty quick at the moment it auto because there's only nine slides on it so it should be fairly quick anyway but we'll see what happens when it gets to 99 percent or 98 percent whatever it goes to it goes all the way through i'll be very pleased with it and it's on 99 percent we'll give it 15 minutes i will pause the video at the moment let's see if it'll do it without this on because this might be stopping it okay that one's finished so we'll return back to studio and you'll see how it looks when it's done that let's just leave it to load which won't take long there you go that's the next piece it's come on all right and what we need to do now is just do more actions download use transitions and download right so it'll go through the same situation again start i always have to download it upload it to the server first because if you download it straight sometimes it just won't work for that reason i don't know why but if you got it hosted already it's easier to download after apparently so they tell me but I need to download it so I can put it on my uh, Mavavi video editor and uh, so I can stitch them together and add my intro and outro which is made my intro is made with uh, videos my outro is made with uh, create studio so if I do them add them and I add my logos which is 
my Tony's Music logos and video um, customizer logo. Uh, I had them on after in Mavavi video editor and I add a little bit of music from Mavavi as well when I'm doing the intros, outros and that. So and I add a little intro to t give you a title for this video as well. And I add my um, transitions of Mavavi as well to stitch them together with. Right, so that's what I do. It's a lot of work. Uh, it's, obviously, you can tell by how long it's took already. And I'm only, what, nearly a quarter of the way through, maybe just above that, maybe a third of the way through doing this video. So it took nearly most of the day to just do this one video with this because they, they definitely need to upgrade it and sort out the problems with it where it's only doing 10 slides basically so i have explained to them the situation i will be showing them this video as well uh, once it's done i will send them a link to this video to explain to show them what the problems are with it and why it's not working right but um this is to let you know how to overcome the situation by doing what i'm doing basically that's the only way you can um, beat it is by doing what I'm doing which is cutting it into smaller pieces and then um, doing it and that's all you can do at the moment with it well that's working pretty well at the moment we'll see how it goes after this uh, processing the video it wasn't very long after us pause the video for a moment it was about like another five minutes that's all but i don't want you hanging about while it's doing that that seems a bit much having to wait for it to just process the video but once it's processed this part which is the download it should play the video straight after more or less once it's completed which it might do in a moment it won't be long hopefully fingers crossed But this is the second part of probably five parts to the video. Oh. I'm just going to pause a second just to make sure we're okay. Step by step okay. instructions for it making scented finished, candles. But as you can see, it's not showing it. One, choose your which wax is the type, same as paraffin the other one, or soil. Which I'm now just going to just click off that. Just take that down a sec. Go to my downloads. And you'll see on downloads in a minute when I get to downloads down there. There it is. I've got to change that. So what I need to do is go on to Avavi again. Return to there. Right. So we know it's working. Right. All we need to do is just to click on. Oh, I can't do that bit. We need to go to my videos. then go on there like that and then click on that bit and just copy that when I go off there one there paste so we got that so we know it's number two and we put it on my YouTube folder which I found that I need definitely need a YouTube folder right so I can put it on there with loads of stuff to deal with um and then just add it to that there like that so it's ready for when i want to sew them together right now i ain't going to do the rest of them what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you what you do when you've when you've completed all of them right then we're going on to mavave so we're going to mavave here launch the video editor if it allow me to do that which hopefully it will. I'm doing this to shortcut it because it's already took over an hour to do this video. And um, I don't want to be too much longer because it's going to be too long a video for you to watch, really. And what I want to do is I'm going to show you how to stitch the parts together. It's not that hard, really, with, with my Vave. All I've got to do is uh, click on there. 
had the files from YouTube, my YouTube videos, and it's preparation for YouTube. I just go to one and press control and click the other one and that just add them all right so there they are and you can see the pictures are actually on them there all right what i usually do then is i just get my uh intros which are already here like so for custom intros i use that one so i to click that one press control and click my outro as well so i can um include them then I need to also add another file, which is my on preparation on disclaimers. I've got my Sudio disclaimer there, right? Now I use that because I know full well that sometimes some of the wording and what it's actually saying is not correct. Uh, when it's a subject that I don't know nothing about, I'm going to have to put that on because obviously I'm not sure whether it's right or wrong. So I'm doing that on purpose because I don't know everything. You know, simple as that. So, but I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I do now. Right, so I put that. I add an intro video from Mavave because there's a few different templates here I've got I can use. Right, and what was it about candles? So we'll have a look some to do with candles if possible. If there's anything which I don't think there is, or we could do something like um, I don't know, we could do something with like that one. We could add that one. Let's do that one. We'll add that one because it's like got shadow on it. So when you have shadows, a bit of light from a candle could help, right? So then you just change that to put the name of your total in so i'll just wait a minute i'll just uh click on there see if i can paste that in and then all i need to do is tick that off right makes sense how to make our made scented candles right and i'll just take that off there delete that because i don't need that one so we just do that and see how that goes let's just check that so play that That looks all right for me. Okay. Then what I'll do is I'll also copy that. Clone that. And I'll paste that at the back. I need to um, add the video in there. Or videos. So go back to project files. And it's these two. So we just do that. Pull that there like that. That goes all the way across there like that. So if we add all of them, there'd be a lot more than that. But there's not, I'm only using them at the minute. Then we get to the end here. And instead of having that, we need to have my um, credits. So what I'll do is I'll click on that. Go to text. And I have my totals, which are already there. Now, what I need to do is I need to change that for my title. So, what I'm going to do is I'll pull that down there, like that. Then, what I need to do is make sure I use the same sort of thingy. So, it's Cormorant Gar Garamond Medium. So, I need to change them to Cormorant Gar Medium. There you go, like that. And I'm going to do the same with that because you've got two lines on the Thing, so you need to do it twice. There we go. Right. So I've done that. And what I need to do is just delete that one. So that's where it's supposed to go. But I've got to squeeze that in a bit. Because I want to do a thing with this. Because I need to make it so that it does nothing at first. I need it to stay stable. There, so I'm going to do that. I want to click on this and cut that. And I also want to just go slightly that way and do 
slightly that way maybe there and just do a save snapshot and that's going to be snapshot which one 10 snapshot 10 snapshot 10 there we go right now I need to add that and go to OneDrive dot desktop and there it is right so we add that we put that in between there and pull it across there like that right now we put our credits on and take it along there like that that should be enough now I just need to change my credits to what it's supposed to be so what I got is I'm going to change that to how homemade homemade scented candles oh i've done two s's there all right so i'll make a scented candles by me blah 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 video courtesy of studio and that's 2024 now so i'm going to need to put that on and the rest should be already okay let me just check out yeah that's all okay right, that should all be okay and apply that right so that should be the end of that now i'm just going to add my outro on the end of there then what i need to do is make sure the audio is at the right level so i need to go click on this audio file equalizer and for the first one i need to click on that that and that and that and go preset one which is only slightly off the zero it's between about 0.4 minus 4 it's about minus 4 that is what i put for my normal equalizer right then i, I add um, some music let's just have a look see what where there's some Right, ambient music in here. Let's try. So it looks if it's said anything about light am, ambient now. Try some cinematic. Now it's not right. I need something a bit nature and travel might be okay. Let's try nature and travel. Let's do morning stars. Let's try that. to put that in right there's morning stars i'll put that one in right but i'm gonna cut it down a lot like that. i'm gonna cut it down by dragging it back to where it is at the front right and i'm gonna do click on it add a fade out of two on there I don't add a fading because it's already faded at the front there on that one. But I'm going to copy that. Take it to the other side. To there and put it there as well. Paste. But now I can drag that across and it'll be all right. Uh, the only other thing is I need to add an extra bit on there, which is one of the things I always do and i need to go up off this onto the free ones it's calm and it's lo-fi and i just add the the front end of that to there and i just crop that remove that bit delete that bit and that's got to be 
preset one these have got to be preset five which are very low so the minus 10 and i need to do the same with the other side there right okay that's what i do with that now all i need to do is add my um transitions right you can have the free transitions there's a lot of different ones there like the best off using them ones with the studio part because you, you got the brush rough and that there put that one on there brush smooth on that one and cross there i'll put the cross there right now on the outside here with these i'm going to put disintegrate on that one and i usually do something like a circle or a cube on this one this part here so i'm going to do the cube and then that's ready for should be ready for publishing except for i've got my logos to put on so i'll click on here go to logos add logos right so you can, i need to go to desktop which is not OneDrive desktop but my my you for my youtube channel videos and if you have a look in here i've got my logos there that's my tm logo and my video customizer logo there so i'll add them two together on there like that now what i need to do is just adjust each one separately so i'll just click off it and click on the one adjust the size of that and put it over there and then what i need to do is while i clicked on it go to a pasty change that to i need to change that one to 22 or 21 22 right you can see it up there just about and then the other one i change that to 50 opacity and i'm going to change that height of it as well so click on it and i just position right so that's it so i'm going to make it smaller like that and take it over here right so that's it and that will run through the whole of the video like that right so now when i get to the end here i want to also add fade out of two seconds to that and to that and to that now that's what i do so once i'm there i'll do this like that okay that makes sense to me so that's what i do and then once you've done that all you've got to do then is export it or well, you can save it first as well file save project as i'll paste that yeah and then just take off that I just go bang like that so that's saved it as a project and then when you export it you can do it'll come up with a title right and then what i do is i usually do it onto my youtube videos because it's custom content because it's studio i'll select that folder and i also do it in hd as well as fhd so i want high quality and when it's like that i change that to the highest quality and i also change that to 60 frames per second right to make sure it's a good quality then i do okay and let it go now if you watch it it'll show you that it's taking some time to do that right it'll just going up in uh time now as you can see it's on two two minutes so that'll be done very shortly i'm just going to pause the video so. okay it's just finished so what i'm going to do is open the output panel and i'll show you i'll show you how it's how it's looking let's just play it <laughs> Making your 
own scented candles is a fun and rewarding experience. With just a few materials, you can create beautiful candles that will fill your home with a lovely fragrance. In this video, we'll show you how to make DIY scented candles using easy to find ingredients. Materials needed to get started making your own scented candles. You'll need the following supplies. Fragrance oil. Wicks. Containers. Step-by-step -step instructions for making scented candles. 1. Choose your wax type, paraffin or soy. Paraffin wax is the most common choice because it's affordable and easy to work with. Soy wax is more expensive but burns cleaner and longer than paraffin. 2. Measure out the amount of wax needed for each recipe. You can use a digital scale to ensure accuracy. 3. Melt the wax in a double boiler on low heat until completely melted. Stir occasionally to prevent burning. 4. Add the desired fragrance oil to the melted wax. As you can see, there was a problem. And that is something I have reported to them about the, um, I forgot what it is, it's, it's the, tran the words transition for um, mask is a problem. And that comes up on the side where it doesn't cover it or something like that. So I have explained that to them, so they're supposed to be fixing that as well. So other than that, usually I don't get the problem, I'll have to read of it and try again. But as you can see, it's, a, it's been a lot of work just to do that. Uh, I just wanted to show you how much work goes into me doing um, a Sudeo video. Okay. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video anyway. I know it's been a long one, but I didn't expect it to be this long, to be honest. But um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you did, please like and subscribe to Tony's Music. Thank you. Thank you.